Okay, and Friday means we're doing another wonderful live stream where we chat about art and animation and uh, yeah, do some fun creative stuff. Um, today is gonna be a little bit different for me because I'm using different technology today. I'm using a different streaming service, so I might be a little bit distracted occasionally trying to set things up. Um, but yeah, I hope everything will work out. And um, yeah, if there's anyone here already, please let me know if you can see and hear me okay, if the streaming seems fluent and uh, and smooth. And uh, yeah, I hope this will fix some of the problems that we had during, during some of the streams. And um, I thought today we could start again with uh, another... Um, another design prompt, another character design prompt, and think about some cool character design or situation that we can draw up with. Um, ah, yeah, I see somebody already wrote, but I didn't... I don't see the chat messages here. <laughs> yeah, apologies. I'm changing a couple things uh, with the technology. So let me do a couple clicks here so that I can see all your wonderful chat comments, hopefully. We also have a new chat message that was supposed to show all the chat messages and keep them on screen. I don't really understand why that is not working. But yeah, the the fun with technology. Uh, I wanted to show though the um, uh, the prompt we did last time, the uh, fairy tale character in a modern world. I really, I'm still loving this drawing so much. Uh, it's gonna be hard to live up to that and <laughs> coming up with one for the next um, uh, for the next prompt. Ah, now I can see all of your chat messages. That is awesome. Thank you, maybe. A thritic one. Nice to see you. Hi, Healy. That's so nice that you are here hanging out with me on this fine day. Um Yeah, sorry, I'm still I'm still clicking and trying to make things work here as best as I can. The chat box should definitely, the chat messages should stay up, I think. Uh, let's see if I can fix that um, on stream so that everybody knows what, what we're talking about, even if the chat message is not there. Um... Yeah, I don't like that the chat messages are, chat messages are disappearing. Let's think about what we can do to change that. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. I couldn't fix that before stream because, you know, there was no chat before the stream. <laughs> so, uh, chat delay, height message, always show messages. That sounds like the setting that I want. So it should keep the messages on screen now. That would be good. Okay, so uh, let's take our character design prompt for the day. And again, I went to artprompts.org slash character. And I really like the first one that I got here. Mask, gu Mask Guardian of the Woods. I think that's pretty fun. Maybe we can come up with a, a fun masked guardian of the woods. But let's see what else we have. Clicking on the refresh button and see what else artprompts.org is giving us. A beautiful mus muscular woman at the gym. <laughs> at the gym or she could be the forest guardian. Uh, who knows? So... An annoying salesman. An annoying salesman in a forest. Forest guardian. Hmm. Uh, let's let's just start drawing. I think these prompts already gave us some some something to to cling on to. Um, so 
Uh, guardian, guardian of the forest. Let's have maybe like a. Uh, I'm thinking dwarf. Like I, I've played a lot of D and D recently, so uh, you know, a dwarf forest guardian maybe. Um, and you know, the question with uh, female dwarfs is always like, do they have a beard? Two, because in, in many fantasy uh, uh, worlds, they do also have a beard. Um, but you know, let's give them, let's give her some, some makeup uh, and some dreamy eyes with that beard. And maybe some beautiful, beautiful braids. Which, you know, braids are not necessarily female. They had braids in a lot of like Nordic, a lot of Nordic cultures. I'm just cheating with the braids here. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed how, how well it works to just be like, ar, ar, la, la, like this, like just in S shapes. I don't know. I, I'll have to look at some how how braiding actually is done uh, to come up with something that that looks more believable. And so, as a as a guardian, as a guardian of the forest, she maybe has like a. Um, I don't know what what could she wear on her head. I mean, it could be a classic helmet, but um, maybe something like more like a wood helmet. Um, we need to make sure that she's very connected with the forest. Maybe there's a a little tree sprouting from it. That could be kind of cool. Hello, Chase. Hello, Darren. Hi, Grey Lord. Uh, let's write the prompt down so everybody can can see it. Uh, Guardian of the forest. All right. Oh, Hilly, that's a good idea. Uh, maybe a, a wood mask, like a Princess Mononoke thing. That's a really cool idea, yeah. I mean, obviously here she she is no longer no longer wearing it. But yeah, and what could her weapon, what could her weapon be? I mean, for dwarfs, that classic thing is like an axe. Uh, but you know, as the guardian of the forest, I'm not sure you do have an, you do have an axe, uh, because you know that's that's classically also cutting down trees. So. Yeah, let's maybe try like a more Hayao Miyazaki kind of direction. I like that idea um, of of a mask. Um, let's see what different what different masks we could do. <laughs> the Jim Carrey mask. I love that film as a kid. The mask with Jim Carrey because you know obviously because of the cartoon stuff. Um, so I always find these like Japanese like shy guy mask kind of things kind of cool because they have something like a neutral like a neutral expression um, which might be might be interesting
So, I don't know. Maybe something like that. But of course, it could also be, you know, if you are the guardian of the forest, maybe you want to be a little bit scary. Speaking of scary, I like this Halloween music. <laughs> You guys can hear the music, right? Yeah, should be on. <clears throat> so, you know, maybe it is a little bit of a scary mask. Oh, with the triangles. I like this one. I like this one. Let's see what else we can get. I really love that. Like, this is my favorite part of the character design process when you go in and you try a bunch of similar things. Um, and I, I, I really like how it takes you somewhere. Hello, USD Math. Greetings towards India then. <laughs> It could also be an animal mask, you know, maybe it could be like a bear. Um, maybe it could be like a bear kind of thing. And we could also leave the, the mask area. I could also be on top, you know. Ah, oh, no, that does not look so good. Maybe this. And maybe there could be like big leaves coming out of here. Almost like a crown kind of thing going. And then maybe because it's a mask, it could actually be... Uh, her real eyes... Being under here. Maybe, you know, if you really wanted to sell the impression that there's somebody... Behind this mask. I think then that would would be quite nice. I do still like the first one just because it's a little bit more like a like a clumsy thing. And I I always like to kind of break the uh the expectations, you know, maybe the the guardian of the forest is not like the super strong scary uh magical person but more like a you know just a person who wants to help out in the woods <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like more like a buddha energy I do like the uh, I do like the classic eye mask too some somehow. Maybe a mask without Maybe a mask without uh without a mouth. Just like uh, the eyes. This guardian is watching. And it's mostly eyes. I already had this music. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Now it's really going into clown mask territory. I'm not sure we want that. <laughs> And maybe the mask isn't for the full face. Maybe the mask is just, um, maybe the mask is just over the eyes. I mean, not sure why, why a guardian of the forest needs a secret identity. <laughs> Just a very natural mask here. Well, let's make sure the perspective is on the other side. Yeah. I somehow like this. I somehow like the... The branch as the... Nose. Oh, yeah! Uh, Hilly, uh, that's true. It, re it also reminds me of the Deco masks from Zelda or Majora's Mask. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have cool masks. <laughs> okay, I need to get one thing out of my system. Uh, I wanna make a tree guardian uh, a guardian who is also a tree you know I'm not sure how much a tree can do but you know you have the walking trees and stuff and lot of the rings so if 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 the forest has to act then maybe it does it through the trees And maybe this tree sports an eye mask. <laughs> I am not sure if that is going in the right direction, but I somehow love it. I love our little tree bandit here. Maybe he just has magically glowing eyes. <laughs> yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja tree, be tree Beard. Teenage Mutant Ninja Tree Beard. Well, I mean, he would need some pizza for that. So let's, let's help him out. Give him some pizza. I saw a Facebook post today where somebody was collecting all the different pizzas of different animated shows. Um, and it's crazy how much of the 90s uh, uh, shows had pizza in them. And I feel like, you know, pizza is always a thing to, that can be animated really well. Uh, in the gooey cheesiness. <laughs> let's all, let's give him the tree. Uh, the branch nose from earlier. Hmm. Yeah, they made the cheese so gooey. Cheese is. <laughs> is the gooeyest in 80s um, uh, children television animation. I 
Okay, I feel like since he is a uh, tree, this guardian probably uses magic. So how about have some fiery, flaming, plasma energy thing here? Does he need a mouth? I kind of like him without a mouth. <laughs> I mean, that goes like in a Halloween direction. Ooh, poison smoke. Yes, it could be poison smoke. That's a good idea. <laughs> I sometimes like, sometimes you go with the simple features, almost featureless character, and it like, I, I don't think it like, eyebrows don't really make it better, a mouth don't really make it better. I mean, maybe he, he needs one for talking, but even then, um, but even then, you don't necessarily need to have a mouth on the character. Uh, one of my favorite characters in um, Hilda, the Netflix series. Um, awesome, awesome Netflix series. Really love the, the creativity there and the animation there. Uh, my favorite character is the... the ah, I blank on the name. Is he just like tree guy or wood guy? Woodman, I think. And, and he doesn't have a mouth, he just has this, like... This kind of situation going on. And I really like that you can just hear his voice. <laughs> ah, Colin is there and brought pizza for us, a slice of pizza. So we're having a pizza party here. Alright, some awesome tree roots. Woodman totally wears that Deku mask. Yeah, there are more people getting inspired from the same thing. Of course. <laughs> you know, why why stray from something that is awesome already? Hey Sumant! Nice to see you today. <laughs> it's not mandatory to join every week, but I'm always glad for people that do. <laughs> Really love our little community here. I feel like it's still at this 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 size where you know we can calmly talk in the chat without the chat being flooded by by comments. I have that with some of the other uh, uh, Twitch streamers that I like to watch. It's so impossible to get them see or to to get them to see your comments because they get so many chat messages. So I think we we are at a good size right now. All right. I <laughs> I really do like our tree guy here. Let's give him a little a little buddy here in a nest, a little bird. Oh, you know what? Let's have a bat. Let's have a bat hanging down here, a little bat friend. You know, he's doing all the, the bat is doing all the footwork.
Because the tree cannot move so much. It's not so easy to draw upside down. <laughs> I should have maybe turned the screen. All right, and I think we did a good job with this warming up drawing. <laughs> it's not quite the direction that I expected it today, but there we have our forest guardian. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Athletic one is hoping for some Moho content. <laughs> Vitruvian bones. Yeah, I would have to check into that first. <laughs> I need to like I haven't used them yet, but they look pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I really love in Moho what you can do with some smart switch layers. <laughs> Somebody having problems, unable to sign up in the 11 second club? Like, logging in? I think they're having some problems with the social media logins, but I think they had that for a while that you cannot log in with your Facebook or Google login. You need to make an email address and use that to sign in. Um, I Lobby King Gaming. So if that doesn't work, try to do it with an email. Um, that that should work a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I wanted to switch back, switch over to Open Tunes, where we still have a bunch of uh, a bunch of things to do. Uh, I think you can, if you signed in uh, into the Eleven Second Club with Facebook once, you can use your email, the same email that you used for Facebook to uh, get them to send you a password. I think they, they, the moment you created an account with your social media uh, logins, it just takes the email address. So I think it can, it, it can send it to you. I had a similar problem when I tried to log in. Um, all right, so let's see where we are with this animation. We're making very slow progress with this, but at least, you know, we were making some progress. And they already saw the flickering last time we did this portion here. Which I think turned out quite nice. So, uh, yeah, today we're gonna do the other portion here where it still flickers because we haven't drawn a bunch of things. Um... And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, but before, just because I see it here, I just uh, want to tell you about a bouncing ball mug. Um, I found this, <laughs> this again in the, the back of my uh, kitchen cupboard, and I had to, to take it out again because I, I absolutely, I really love this mug. You can get it in our shop. Um, and, uh, you know, it has some nice bouncing balls and arcs on it. Uh, I think I even have a link here that you can check out. Our short link, animisland, animisland.com slash bouncing dash muck. This is where you can get this wonderful muck. And, uh, yeah, confuse your friends and family and... Uh, they will probably have some questions about this, but yeah. 
we have that in our shop right now. And of course, every profit that we're making from this is going right back into Animator Island to make more tutorials and live streams. <laughs> Ah, some some people like it. That's great. That's great to hear. Yeah, check it out. Uh, okay, so we have um, we have this motion here, and see here we already did some. Um, we already did a bunch of timing charts and uh, wrote down what we wanted to do when. So that's. Totally gonna help us uh, making the rest of this animation now. Uh, especially because it looks like the numbers are outdated. <laughs> yeah, that happens when we work too much on it. Ah, new Twitch follower. Welcome. Welcome Screaming Goat Life. Nice to see you here. Alright. So let's see, where were we? Okay, so this... Is... Oh, this is a very short motion to the anticipation. We're going to the anticipation. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Uh, we're going into the anticipation here with just one breakdown. And then we have the anticipation drawing here. And then we're easing out. We're easing out to go up. So we basically have an anticipation for the anticipation. Oh, Athritic One, welcome on Twitch as well. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for the follow. Um, so. I hope I see the Twitch chat messages. I'm not sure. Ah, no, I do. I'm not here in my app. Yeah, we're multi-streaming at the moment on Twitch and YouTube, but YouTube is where all the people are <laughs> because, you know, this is where, um, because of the YouTube channel that we already have where most of my followers are, so, uh, yeah, most of the stuff happens on, uh, on YouTube, but I'm trying to build a Twitch following too, and, you know, maybe on Twitch we're gonna also do some things that are not specifically animation related. Um, you know, maybe playing a game and talking about the animation in the game and stuff. I'm not sure how well that would do on YouTube. I don't know. But anyway, we're multi-streaming right now on both platforms. Uh, and at the moment, the live content is the same on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, but you know, the algorithms are different and whatever you prefer as a viewer, um, for example, I, I sometimes I do like that Twitch actually sends you an email when your favorite Twitch streamers are online and stuff like that. Like it's a bit more aggressive than YouTube uh, in, in announcing that somebody is alive now, which personally I, for the people, for the few people that I watch on Twitch, is really helpful to not miss anything. <laughs> Lobby King, I'm from Germany. So, um, I was talking so much again that I forget what was happening here. Oh yeah, we're easing, we're easing. We're easing out of this position and then the next frame is we're gonna ease into the up position. So this is the low position, this is the key, we're gonna ease out of this and then we're gonna ease into the next key. So let's do that. Some good old uh, favoring that we have to do here. And uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, just staying close to the red line to get some nice, uh, nice speeding up going here. 
<laughs> now I'm at the point where I'm like, ah, I wish I had rigged this character. I feel like we would already be further with it. But of course, you know, all the, the, um, the special effects stuff uh, that we're doing, that's really, really good to do that frame by frame. Although I really have to, to give the frame by frame tools in Moho another shot. I heard they improved. Um, okay, so for this one, we do not have a breakdown. So I'm trying to make this as archy as possible uh, to make sure, you know, it's not just going straight over. We want to have a very flat arc here, even if we have this, this pesky ease that doesn't have a breakdown. Uh, usually you might want to avoid that, you know, depending on, on the motions that you, that you do. Um... So... Ah, Lobby King is joining us from Bangladesh. That's nice to know. From all over the world. <laughs> a Fredic one missed being your neighbor by a generation. <laughs> Moved out of Germany. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for the head. I feel like my brush strokes are today a lot thicker and now they're thinner again. What do we have for our setting here? Accuracy is pretty high. That's good. Smooth is, is okay. I think these settings are okay. Uh, all right. So let's have... You know what we could do? We don't have to make it an ease for everything. Ah, okay. So the problem that we have, if you look just at the hand, this hand here, the right hand from our side, it's, um, so for the the different hands, this drawing is something different. For the left hand, this is clearly the top of the motion before it changes direction. This is an extreme. The hand is going up and then it's at the top. That is the extreme and then it's going down. For the other hand, it's something different. The other hand starts its motion here, travels over and for this hand, this is actually the breakdown. Oh boy, yeah, uh, we need to get this straight here because you know this is the this is the end of the motion for the right hand, and this is the, this is the extreme. It doesn't have an extreme anywhere else in this animation, so we need to make sure that we keep this somewhat consistent and that we don't have the spacing jumping around like crazy um especially this part here is dangerous because we have a frame where it's already pretty close to it then we're supposed to ease more and more so maybe this is an opportunity for the um for an overlap Mm, that this hand already reaches the position first and then the other hand reaches the position first. Is that actually something that I wrote down in the timing charts? No, not really. Oh, this is also not the timing chart for here. This is something different. This is from before. Okay. All right. Okay, so we need to keep that in mind that we need to treat that right... Um, that right hand differently. Good night, Lobby King. Yeah, here it's not it's not as late here, it's 820. So to mark this, 
yeah, why not make this the east frame and then here it already reached the position and stays here. So we're just gonna trace the onion skin to make sure we have a nice hold here. Hmm. The stream seems to be lagging. I wonder if that is because of that bug that we had in Open Tunes when I, yeah, when I draw, it goes to the 100% CPU. That is, um, I apologize for that. We need to, unfortunately, we need to switch from Open Tunes to another software. I guess Moho then, right? <laughs> um, okay, so let's have a nice extreme ease. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing more of a pass. I'm going through the the arm because that caught my attention. So I'm I'm doing the entire motion of the right arm first. Um, okay, so yeah, this can be a pretty clear in between here. Hmm. I'm so sorry for that, that CPU lag. Is it notably lagging for you? It should be audible in the, um, in the music. I feel like it was never that bad. Like the moment I start making a line, I can see the CPU spiking. Yeah, thank you, my dear. There's a tiny lag. Yeah, that's because of that. I'm so sorry. Okay, so arm is going out um let's go backwards because this is a very clear-cut case this is a ease and the cool thing is because we have a few frames extra here we can use that for the um What's up with this? What was I thinking about this? Um, this cloth position is completely wrong. We need to get rid of that. This is not how it should be. Uh, yeah, it should lag behind if anything. And then when it reaches the the peak here, this is where it should flop over. So it's coming, it's following. It's following here some more. And then it's flipping over. And then it's coming back. Okay. Hi, Elvis. 
Okay, so let's get this arm done, at least for today. Already getting late here, unfortunately. I need to see if I can do something about this lag. For next time. I mean, I've already tried between the other sessions. We could also try it if it's the same in Tahoma. Because, you know, there's this Open Tunes fork that might work differently slightly. Yeah, if anyone has any questions about art and animation and freelancing, please let me know. So maybe I can answer something or react to something uh, if you would like. There's a pretty big spacing here. Yeah, we need to get rid of this entire arm here. This is breaking the spacing patterns. Uh, so, you know, we have a nice little, it's speeding up, it's speeding up. Now we have a spacing, spa like this is a good spacing pattern between the, the red, the current drawing and the green. That looks good. But now, next up, uh, we're gonna have a gap. And then we have this one. So this is breaking the spacing pattern because it expects something to go in the middle here, but that would be a much smaller spacing pattern than we actually need right now at this moment. Uh, so what do we do? What do we do? We have to... Um, new Twitch follower. Welcome, welcome, hello. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Medea says, uh, just a med student here that is very intrigued with animation. Thanks for a lot of your videos. That's cool. And you know, it's, it's good to have interests uh, in all kinds of directions. That's, uh, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Sometimes I do envy people who have like a more like, you know, I feel like medicine is a, has a very practical use. <laughs> like, it's very clear why, why you would use uh, what you can use medicine knowledge for and stuff. And, you know, here I am doing animation. <laughs> Hi, Pendar. Uh, so, what do we do? We move everything one frame earlier. So, um, yeah, this, this one has to go here. And this one I love digital animation because you can just do it so easily. This one goes here. And now the spacing, see that? Now the spacing is fixed. Now they all have roughly the same spacing and we don't have it slowing down. That's what I wanted, that's what I needed. And Medea envies creative people. <laughs> but you know, the things are both mutually exclusive. Like, I can put up. Like, one thing that I always wanted to do is learn more about, like, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but like healing herbs and, and stuff. Like, you know, stuff that you find in nature. That if, I don't know, you go hiking and you hurt yourself or something, that you at least know. How to make a tea, which which plants would be good for a tea, or which berries are not poisonous and stuff like that. I feel like that is the extent 
of of medical knowledge that I would like to acquire. <laughs> um, you know, and some basic knowledge about how how certain medicine works and stuff. But yeah, and you know, creative hobbies. Uh, in your spare time, there's always a chance to do animation. Yeah, this spacing is much better. Because now... We can just hold everything here. This arm motion... I swear, you guys, this arm motion is eating all our time today. <laughs> but you know, it's good that we that we uh, put some some thought into it. So I'm actually gonna do an ease into it here. That's good. Then maybe we have some more frames for an overshoot here. That is nice. And then this is coming over. That is, I think this could work. So let's play this. Gonna flicker a bit. Yeah, I think I like that. I like how you can even feel like a little bit of tension in the fingers that I think I really like. Oh, Open Tunes got an auto save. Thank you, my dear. And oh, non-med boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, lots of medical and non-medical people here today. Okay, so I don't like this. Uh... this sleeve it should follow more in line with the other ones all right i think like this yeah i think that was the thing that i was mostly not happy with hello v Vinicius nice to see you okay so just the right arm here yeah okay Yeah, I love that the, the the arm is going towards the whole length of the motion because, you know, the other arm, the left arm, is going to do the up and down motion in the same time. And this brings in uh, some, some calmness in the right arm. Um, so that's good. Okay, let's finish the arm and then call it a day. So... If anyone has any questions about art and animation, please let me know so I have a chance to answer before I unfortunately gotta go for today. Okay, so here's the rest of the arm. Gotta make sure it's very Let's put in the other drawings, yeah, to have like in line with the other spacings, have some some samey spacings. And we're gonna only ease at the very end. And uh, yeah, obviously this should be a lot further here. 
Hello, it's Fear. Uh, yes, Ray Robinson, I have used Moho. Eclipse Studio I haven't really animated in, but I always wanted to. I do like the the brushes and everything in Clip Studio. I really plan to do more with Clip Studio Paint. Um, so yeah, we're hopefully also gonna do more on this channel with Clip Studio Paint. Um, this right now is Open Tunes, and uh, yeah, we already have some Moho fans in the in the live stream, so we're probably gonna return to Moho at some point. And do more moho con content. Alex says, I love to watch these kinds of animation live streams. Do you all know where I can get more of this? Um, yeah, if anybody has their favorite Twitch streamer or YouTube streamer, please uh, share in the in the comments. Um, um, num, num, num. I'm blanking on so many names today. <laughs> What's going on with me? Um, there are a couple animators on on uh, on Twitch. Let me see if I can access my Twitch list here. Um, the Pratt Brothers, for example. Uh, really good uh, um, animation streamers. They do a lot of 3D stuff. Uh, I think at the moment it's mostly one of them streaming. Uh, but super informative, super cool. They work for Animation Mentor, so you know you know they, they know a lot. Uh, and um, yeah. Which animation book do you love? Uh, well, I love a bunch of animation books. I always recommend uh, Character Animation Crash Course from Eric Goldberg, just because not so many people know it. And if you want to do cartoony animation, uh, that Eric Goldberg book is, is really a must-have. Uh, you know, of course, the Animator Survival Kit is a good investment. I use it to this day to look up certain things. Um, like, if I haven't done walk cycles in a long time, I have to admit, I grab that book from the shelf uh, and flip to the page with the walk cycles because there's so many great ideas and uh, so many good things that he points out with regards to the shoulder and the hips and stuff like that. Uh, so, oh yeah, Howard uh, Wimshurst channel. Yeah, definitely. That's a great YouTuber. Um... Okay, let me get back to the chat. It's Fear 17 asks, does 2D animation have future demand or should I learn 3D animation? Well, for um, television, um, 2D animation is uh, doing quite well and having a little bit of a, a revival and you know they're great contemporary contemporary animation shows like Steven Universe or Gravity Falls. I mean, Gravity Falls is already a couple of years old, I think. But you know there there has been a little bit of a 2D renaissance with shows with very decent animation quality. Um, like one one show that blew me away with the animation quality is Centaur World. It's so crazy it's rigged animation but it looks like hand-drawn frame by frame animation um so yeah there are some some shows that are even produced in the us and canada so not even outsourced um so yeah that's where the jobs for 2d are in television and uh, you know explainer videos for companies and this kind of thing but if you want to be on the big screen then you know, occasionally somebody tries to revive 2D animation for the big screen, but mostly it's the big studios doing feature animations. So if you want to create something that's supposed to run in cinema, then you might um, you might specialize on 
3D animation, but it also can't hurt to learn both. If you're already drawing and you, 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 you're good at drawing, you will pick up 2D animation fairly easily. Um, and you know, there are always the mixed kinds of animation, like rigged animation. Uh, 2D rigs are more close to 3D than they are to traditional animation. Um, yeah, Alex, uh, Disney reopened their 2D animation department and they made already the first thing they made, uh, um, I don't know, I think it's an advertisement for like a designer luxury bag or something and they revived uh, uh, from 101 Dalmatians, it has the dogs and it has Cruella de Vil's shadow and uh, yeah, and Eric Goldberg did a really good job um, doing the animation supervision, I think, for this. Uh, so that's the first thing that they put out already. I hope they're gonna do feature animation. I hope it's not just gonna be advertisements for thousand dollar bags, but... Yeah. Ah, Hilly saw that ad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think that's that's was kind of like their test. I hope that it was just the test. I hope that it is not the main, you know, what they mainly do now. Uh, I hope they're gonna dip into feature animation again. That would be amazing. And there are some really cool developments. Like, it's already a couple of years old now, but Klaus was so amazing with the shading technology that they used. Um... Ere asks, have you ever used Blender with a grease pencil? Yeah, I dipped a little bit into the grease pencil, I played around with it a little bit. Uh, was frustrated, I think, because the fill tool sometimes can't fill shapes and stuff, and that kind of annoyed me, but I, I think it was kind of like a specialized uh, case that doesn't allow filling, like if two objects are like... Uh, like crossing each other in a certain certain kind you can't fill them so that's why i shelved it for a moment but i'm certainly gonna get back to the grease pencil i love some 2d and 3d combination you know there we are again at it doesn't have to be one or the other it can be both it can be uh backgrounds in 3d and character animation in 2d um So yeah, I, I have to look at what, what I was doing wrong there. Um, yeah, Alex, Klaus is such an awesome, awesome film. Nowadays in India, some 2D cartoons are moving towards 3D. I mean, they're doing that like for a lot of like, I feel like especially like the preschool content now for some reason is always going 3D, like you have some very horrible looking Mickey Mouse shorts, but I, they, they're already doing that for years that they move the 2D shows to 3D. Um, it's Phil, but without Phil. Yeah, I have to get behind that again and, and learn what I was doing wrong with the grease pencil. Um, yeah, uh, some awesome questions we had here. Thank you so very much. Uh, unfortunately, I gotta go. Um, don't forget, if you want to support me, we have a Patreon. Um, you can check that out uh, on patreon.com slash animator island. Every contribution helps uh, and is greatly appreciated. And there's also the group mentoring tier. If you join our Patreon in the group mentoring tier, you can join a secret group mentoring session that we have every month where everybody can bring whatever they want feedback on. It could be an animation, it could be uh, just art, it could be just drawing, it could be a story idea, it could be a, a storyboard or an animatic. And uh, yeah, I will have a look at it, draw over it, give you tips and tricks. Um, so that's the Animator Island group mentoring. If you're interested in that, please go to animatorisland.com slash group mentoring. And yeah, there's always room for some, some more people and uh, getting feedback from a mentor is a great way to grow and uh, you know not only improve your current project but also improve your skills in the long term and the monthly thing is just so that you know 
You have something every month. You have to practice every month. You have to make pra uh, practice uh, every month. But of course, you can also pause your subscription and rejoin at any time. So that is the group mentoring. Um, yeah, thank you all so very much. I had a wonderful time today. Again, let's have a I want to I want to have a look at our forest guardian again that we did uh, in the beginning. So yeah, I think that was a pretty nice, nice start here. Um, and um, <laughs> yeah, Vinicius, I do like metal. <laughs> I do listen to metal. I do. Um, not wearing my black clothes today, though. <laughs> How did you guess? Um, okay, so I hope everybody is having an awesome time. Keep on animating. And I'm looking forward to talking with you again in another live stream. Bye bye.